So if you took a UL Yearn pod system and a UL Original Caliburn pod system and kind of mashed them together, you would get the Caliburn G. And yeah, it's awesome. All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Gonna be taking a look at this Cali Burn G today, pod system from UWell. Like the title of this video says, it's basically flawless. Probably one of the best vaping pod systems just ever. But in order to get to know this just a little bit better, what we're gonna do is go up close as we often do. I'll have timestamps as well as chapters throughout this video, but we're gonna do some up close time. I'll meet you back up here for some pros and cons. We'll give out banana stickers. We'll play the aliens game. We'll do vape budget hands. So go. All right, here we go. Caliburn G. This is the blue one I've been using, and this one is Rosie Brown. Good old Rosie Brown. Sounds like someone's name. Inside the box, you get some literature, some warnings, including this helpful tip for opening the pod, but we'll get there in a second. Here's Miss Rosie Brown. Inside the box, you also get a spare 0.8 mesh coil head, USB-C charging cord, silica gel pack, and that's kind of it. Your two mil pod's gonna snap into your battery. Ah. Very satisfying click. As you can see, the battery is sort of textured with stripes. You got this clicky, clicky fire button. Your two mil pod has a 0.8 mesh coil head in it that just kind of pops out. These are just press fit in there with O-rings. And as you can see, there's a flat side that needs to go against the flat side of your pod. But boop, you just press that right in. Now to fill it, you got to take the mouthpiece off. And for a really long time, I was just struggling and just kind of pulling it like that off. And it's kind of a pain in the ass, but that's not how you do it snaps on with authority as well. Easiest way to do it, according to the UL literature, is to leave your pod inside your battery, press uh, right here to get it off. So you don't have to take your pod out to fill it up. Whenever I'm setting up a new pod, I always put eh, two or three drops right down the middle of the coil head, flat side, flat side, press it in. We're gonna put it in the battery. We're gonna pop this off. That's your fill hole. That's your air escape hole and bleh. And then once you're full, pop this back on, you're good to go. There's some windows on the side of the pod that's gonna let you see your liquid level, though they're not really super accurate. And honestly, a little bit difficult to see if you have a lighter color e-liquid. USB-C on the bottom for charging. This is your air inlet for your auto switch. There's also two different ways you can put the pod in and get a different airflow. You can see this little hole right there, that's your airflow. And this little hole right there is your airflow. So if you line those two holes up, you get a little bit more open of a mouth to lung. They say it's a restricted lung, don't even try it. It's still a mouth to lung. And then if you take your pod out and you kind of flip it around so that those holes aren't going to be lined up, then you get a much tighter mouth to lung. You have a LED indicator right here. Like I said, it's green when it's full, it turns to blue when it's dying, and then finally red when it's dead. Red when it's dead. There's kind of a little size comparison. This is the scepter right next to it. Honestly, roughly the same height as the scepter, which is crazy. And then this is the drag max. Like this is a dual 18650, so you can kind of see, yeah, it's that big. But that is really all there is to this. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape the damn things. So pros and cons with the Cali Burn G. The pros are, I don't know, everything. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I like the USB-C charging. I love the way it vapes. These Cali Burn G coil heads, the 0.8 mesh coil heads are awesome awesome mouth to lung. I love that you can do the little flip your pot around trick to get a little bit looser of an airflow and a little bit tighter of an airflow. The loose airflow is still a really nice mouth to lung. The tight airflow is an even better mouth to lung. Really, really very much reminds me of the way that that yearn pod system vaped. It's just beautiful and smooth and flavorful and saturated feeling. Very satisfied by the vape that I get from this pod. A big pro for me is the auto switch on this. I love it. It functions perfectly and fires quickly every single time. And I also think having the button on here, a holdover from the original Cali Burn is also a pro. If I was a smoker, I would be running to my nearest vape shop to pick up a Cali Burn G. Now, if we have to get into some cons with this, I, I look, I don't know, nothing, zero. It's kind of difficult to see the liquid when you're looking at it while your pod's on your battery. I, I guess that would be a con. So my final thoughts are going to be this. The Cali Burn G is 
it's basically a flawless pod system. I've had zero issues with it and only an enjoyable, thoroughly enjoyable vape experience with it. Amongst my collection of like stick battery style pods, the Caliburn G has just displaced everything. I don't even wanna use the original Caliburn or Coco anymore. I only wanna use the Caliburn G. It truly and honestly is, in my opinion, I mean, this is the best pod system on the market right now. Refillable pod system on the market right now, hands down. And banana stickers, no real surprises here. We're gonna do five, five banana stickers. I, can, I can't fault this thing with anything. It is one of the single most enjoyable mouth to lung vapes that I've ever had. I've been using it instead of like a K-Fun. I've been using this instead of like my Pioneer. I've been using this instead of like my Dwarf Mouth to Lung RTA, which I worship. I think the rest of this video is gonna be pretty predictable. So vape budget hands for the Caliburn G? No, not really. You can find this anywhere on the internet from around, I've seen it as low as $32 and as high as like $39. And that's for the kit with one battery, one pod and two coil heads. Now, if we were to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have. I got nothing left to vape anymore. Is the Caliburn G something I would seek out and buy right away? Yes. I mean, no questions asked. This could be the first thing that I go out and buy. I legitimately think it's that good. They killed it. They killed it. Anyway, that's going to be enough rambling from me. Links are not allowed in the description anymore, but if I was a smoker, I would run don't walk, run, or drive safely to the nearest vape shop and buy a Caliburn G. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful than burning those deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, no matter what is in your hand, let's keep on vaping.